I'm Rick Lees. Welcome to another episode of Caddy TV. Today we're going to try and cure one of your headaches. The headache is, is dealing with, with installing systems in a, a building that's going to be or has been fireproofed. Um, the objective here is to get in and get your insta installation started before the fireproofing comes in and use our Caddy rod lock couplings to make sure that you can still access everything as needed talk about these two couplings first. This is just a standard caddy rod lock coupling. It can be used, can be either uh, screwed onto an existing threaded rod and then slide your threaded rod into it. Or you can have your threaded rod hanging and then screw a piece, the coupling onto another piece of all thread and slide it up there and, and complete your installation that way. Um, another option would be the caddy rod lock coupling with stud, in which case you could use it on a beam clamp or, or a precast anchor or whatever. Um, install this, you'll notice that it has a significant drop available so the fireproofing can come in, uh, fireproof, uh, and then you still have access to your, your threaded rods. In either case, you're not having to pay, scrape all the fireproofing off, and then pay the fireproofer to come back and reinstall. Another option is the Caddy Rod Lock Bar Joist Hanger. Uh, it installs, slips up in between the bar joist, and then you tighten it down. The bracket simply slips up through the open web, a couple turns on the bottom nut, and you're good to go. Now you've got access, the fireproofers have access to the, to the beam structure, and you still have access to the female thread down below the fireproofing. <laughs> 